That's so good. To, to, um, so give us more detail if you can, and, and I think it's, it was also in your bio. Of, so what all services does your organization offer? Um, so we offer mentoring services. This is the first year that we will actually be in middle schools. Okay. Um, and we decided to do middle schools. I was having a conversation with my daughter years ago when she was in high school. And I remember we were talking about um, someone that she knew in high school uh -huh. that was getting abused by their boyfriend. And so wow. it blew me away in because I'm talking about 15, 16 year old um, kids. Wow. And so she said, you know, really, um, if you want to catch them young, I think we should start in middle school. Yeah. Because by yeah. the time they get to high school, oh, yeah. um, it, it's almost a wrap. It's a wrap. And yeah. that's what they've been <laughs> yep. doing for two, mm -hmm. three, four years. Yeah. Um, so one of my sorority sisters is a teacher. Um, we're going to go into the schools and offer that's a good. mentoring program for, for young women. Yeah. Um, anywhere from financial literacy, life skills, Ooh, um, domestic abuse, yeah. um, you know, the signs become aware because a lot of them have it going on in their household, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, and absolutely. it's so aggressive. Like yeah. everything is aggressive from the music, you know, to everything. just the conversation. That's it's so it. aggressive. And then just mm -hmm. to understand that um, that ain't love, right? It's not love. That don't mean that they care about you because they put their hands but on they you. They used to say and, that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, too, back in the day, I feel like a lot of the young men that are doing that, they, they ain't worried about the repercussions, right? right? Cause if you got a daddy or uncle or older brother that gonna come get you, you might not put your hands on that young man. Yeah, absolutely. Right? <laughs> you might, you absolutely. might not do that. Yeah, so exactly. so um, mm -hmm. that's the and, and 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 I think the biggest thing too for young men and young women, right? Knowing your worth. Absolutely. That's it. If you know your worth, you won't allow people to even because there's a lot of verbal abuse too. Oh, absolutely. A whole lot of verbal absolutely. abuse too. So yeah, that that's incident good. was the first physical altercation. Uh -huh. I never went through physical altercations through my wow. marriage. I was married for 20 years. So wait a minute. So you're telling me it went from nothing? It went from nothing to I'm about to shoot at you. Yes. Side of the car bullets. Now it was of, of course financial abuse. He refused to work. Wow. Um, did not see the need for a job and you have two kids, a mortgage, a wife and all of this. He didn't want to work. So what? that was that was always the argument. Yeah. That was always the argument there. Yeah. Um, or just not coming home. Always in the street types of things. So so wait a minute. I know what it is. Refuse the work. Mm -hmm. Why should you not have got the house? Exactly. <laughs> Let's make that make sense. But that was the problem you, how right there. Take care of the house. That part. That part. Right. That, that's the problem right there. Yeah. And he was so insecure. Mm. And and sometimes when men yeah. oh, and I know this yeah. firsthand. Yeah. Some when they are very insecure, their mate, uh -huh. they tend to want to take control mm -hmm. or bully. Mm -hmm. But you might not have seen this, like you said, all those years you've been together. But this man still wouldn't make a mark or do anything. Yeah. Right? But it was on the inside, right? Ribbing up, right? Until that just festered. Yeah. Mm, that's uh -huh. good. Yeah. And so that moment was like a snapping moment. Yeah. Wow. Just snapped. Snapped. Just snapped. Mm -hmm. just snapped because. When people get to the point where they have nothing else to lose, that's right. They get desperate. They get desperate. And they do desperate stuff. And they wow. do desperate stuff. Case in point, right here. I had a boyfriend back in high school, and I always have brothers, and everybody knows she got brothers, mm -hmm. and Sheila was always very questions, and I stand my ground too. But he never ever was physically abusive to me like that. We argued, but he never was physically abusive to me like that. But when we finally broke up and he got with someone else, and everybody know that young lady was that type that was a puncher back and she was so cute and so teeny tiny and petite and yeah. everything. It's the environment you come from. Yeah. And yeah. you believe that I'm getting hit, this he loves me and oh, this, no. that and other. Some people get it twisted like yeah, that. Absolutely. Growing up, probably in our era, yeah. and this is how they used to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how they used to think. And you come from that background and this background. My daddy was a carpenter. Okay. He had to go over there and literally fix a hole in their wall wow. where my ex had pushed her through or Jeez. hit her and punched her. He used to drive the family yeah. car and all that. Joke him. You didn't do none of that over there in the bargain household. He wasn't gonna push you through the wall. Uh, what? Wait, now, George, <laughs> boy, the day of Sunday. Keep the same and take the body. Oh, I gotta man. get it going. I gotta get it going. Yeah, that's my question. Yeah. So when you, when you look at it, mm. one in three black women experience domestic wow. violence. Wow. Mm -hmm. One in three. One in three. 
Now, out of all women, it's one in five. Wow. And when you come to the black community, it's one in three. Wow. Um, and, and out of that one in three, only one reports it. So think about how many people don't report it. Yeah. Because, it, you know, it, it's looked upon as a stigma in the black community. Yeah. Um, I remember growing up and all around me saying, oh, he, he slapped his wife around or he does this. Like and as a kid, do. you don't really think about it. But as I grew up, I was like, you know what? He was a domestic abuser. 100%. Yeah, not you. 100% domestic yeah. abuser. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I think about that um, and I think about how the system re victimizes mm -hmm. um, our women of color. Mm -hmm. um, that's just kind of one of the reasons. I worked in a domestic violence shelter. I could only do it for six months. Okay. Because the trauma for me yeah. became too much. Wow. Um, because I would sit on those crisis line calls and just hear these women and don't think that it's low income. With Oh, but of domestic not. violence has no socioeconomic wow. discrimination, none of that at all. Hmm. These were doctors or wives of doctors or, you know, council people. People in high positions, they called this line to get instruction because they couldn't reach out to family. Yeah. They couldn't reach out to friends because they were embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when I was in the shelter, I said, oh, it would be cool because I saw women with teenage girls come through there okay. and they all had to live there. Mm -hmm. They didn't have clothes. They came with whatever it was that they ran out had of the to house. get up out of there. Yeah. So then you have the kids in school. So I said, okay, Lisa, why not? Let's do scholarships. Yeah. They need school supplies. If they're a senior in high school, they can't go further if you don't have the money to even fill out the college application. Yeah, that's right. So if you can't fill the application out, you, you can't get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of meet them where they are mm -hmm. um, and offer those types of services. That's good. Um, and also, like I said, provide assistance to domestic violence shelters. Um, anywhere from pamper drives, formula drives, um, personal hygiene, mm -hmm. um, women that are in business, um, they need um, clothing, clothing okay. right um, because a lot of times they're uprooted from their county so they can't go back to the job. Wow. So the moment that you make the decision that I'm going to the domestic violence shelter is the moment you make the decision that I have to be okay with losing everything wow. because I have to disappear. Yeah. Stuff yeah. we wouldn't even think Stuff about. Stuff you wouldn't think about. Mm -hmm. And so kind of having those experiences, it just made me want to uh, do that much more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, especially when you see women that they have no clue, they don't know who to call, um, lost. They're lost, and they've been doing it for years. And they've been doing it for years, and then wow. and then you're sitting in front of front of a judge, a, a, a white female judge, and you know I don't want I'm not racist or anything, mm -hmm. but I'm just simply stating the facts. Yeah. Why are you laughing? With with the attorney. Yeah. The defense att attorney. There's nothing funny. No. There's absolutely nothing funny. No. And so what they did in my situation so he was charged with felony aggravated assault with a deadly weapon mm -hmm. felony terroristic threats mm -hmm. uh, felony um domestic violence um uh, family violence mm -hmm. so he he had five felonies wow. wow by the end because fulton county is so overcrowded oh my goodness. and it would take too many resources to really find out what happened they downgraded it to misdemeanor no. uh, oh, to energy. pointing a gun but my car is shot up with bullets, so no, ma'am, he didn't point. He shot. All of all of those brought down to misdemeanors. They gave him probation and community service. No. Oh my goodness. They removed the ankle monitor because he said he could not afford it. So here I am with a piece of paper, a TPO, yeah. saying. Oh, he's not going to bother you. And I told the judge, I said, I will protect myself. That's right. You can have this paper. Yeah. I'm good. And so that just kind of, it, it lit a fire in me. Mm -hmm. And it like made, it made me mad yeah. because I'm going through my situation. Yep. Yep. I have pictures of the bullet holes, text messages, threatening messages, everything that you could think of that I have turned over. Mm -hmm. But it's not important enough. Wow. Because you didn't get hit by the bullet is what they told me. It's not attempted murder because the bullet didn't hit you, it hit the car. 
Oh, so oh, with some I think was, it makes sense. So if I was dead, yeah. then yeah. you would do something, but then my children wouldn't have a mother. Wow. That's the system. So that's the system. Mm -hmm. And so I sat there and I made peace with that. Mm -hmm. um, and my, my last piece actually just ended July 23rd. I had a protective order up until that point. And I said, God, I need all these chains to be broken. Mm -hmm, that's good. I've got to. I cannot. So I did not go back to court. I yeah. did not grieve that. I needed it to be over. over. Mm -hmm. I needed all, all those chains, everything connected to that day. Yeah. I needed it over. And I had a discussion with my daughter. She was like, you know, do what you feel like you need to do. Everyone was in support of me 100%. I hope you pack it. Um, <laughs> I am, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, mm -hmm. and um, I'm, I'm I'm a registered. Um, okay. Yes. So, but my thing is, I want to prevent girls and young women from even getting in that situation. Yeah, hundred percent. Because what I tell my daughter now is that those pretty pink flags, baby, they're red. Yeah. Those are red flags. They aren't fuchsia. No. They aren't salmon. Yeah. You know they're. They are red, yeah. and we like to think, we, we like to look at it like this. Oh, mm -hmm. he's just whatever. Or, yeah. Yeah, oh, you love, or you blame yourself. He's just, yeah, or how did I let it get to this point, yeah. or what did I do? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had a family member that I called moments after this to say, hey, this is what happened. She told me, you pushed him to do it. Wow. If you had just given him the house, it wouldn't happen. Now here is another black woman telling me that I just should have gave it to him because I pushed him to that point. Wow. And so I had to turn That's my rage thing. into something else yep. because had I not, I, I would have lost it. Wow. Um, you know that when, when someone can look at you, another woman, and say, mm -hmm. "Well, you know, you pushed him to shoot at you." That's absolutely crazy. Just give him the house. That's absolutely crazy. How are you supposed to respond to that? I, I responded yeah, I very badly. Know. Yeah. Um, I bet. It, 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 I bet. I bet. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, 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 it was the most pleasant. It, it, yeah. They don't say stuff like that. They'll say, oh, you know how you are. Right. I done heard that too. Yeah. Just because wow. I had to go to jail. You know, and so here are my <laughs> kids. Um, and I'm probably sure some people are listening. But, oh, where, but, but where's the lie? Yeah. Um, family members stopped communicating with my kids. It was years, wow. years well, before anyone the babies. reached out to my kids. They didn't want anything from you other than, how are you? That's right. They, didn't, they weren't asking for money. Mm -hmm. They weren't asking for any of those things. Wow. How are you? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. We know you've been through something That's traumatic. That's right. That's right. How can we help you? Wow. None of that. And That's so right. now, fast forward, why is everybody so standoffish? No, they love you, but but with a long handle spoon. Mm -hmm. And that's you know. my mama took him. That's Beat right. him out of long handle spoon. Because I'm always going to be on my mama's side. That's right. And I'm always going to stand up for my mama. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong um, with that. Yeah. And, and, right. And so what I told them is that forgive. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness isn't for them. <clears throat> it's for yourself. Forgiveness is for yourself because right. you can't block your blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you have so much hate in your heart for someone that did you right. wrong. Yep. That's right. They will have their own battle to fight. Mm -hmm. Come on. You may Come not on. even see the battle, but they'll have one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but forgive for yourself so that you can move forward. And that's the only way that I've been able to do what I'm doing. Wow. Is that I had to forgive. Yeah. Because people say, do you hate him? No. Yeah. I got two amazing children. That's, that's right. right. That's amazing right. Amazing children that came. Whatever happened after. I have two amazing children that were made from that union. I would never want to forget that. Yeah. Those babies are a part of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so how could I say, oh, I hate everything about that man, mm -hmm. but they are a part of him. That's so good. Whether, yeah. they want, whether they want to or not. That's right. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. That's and right. so I, I, won't, I don't want to block my blessing, and I don't want to block their blessing, mm -hmm. because I'm just so enraged and so, it's not going to change anything. Absolutely. He's still doing whatever, mm -hmm. 
I'm still being mama mm -hmm. and making sure that my kids are taken care of and my 79 year old mom is in the house. I'm a caregiver as well. Okay. Um, so we just have to do what we have to do to keep moving forward. And, that's, and that's the main thing with my kids. And I commend you. It hasn't always been easy for them, mm -hmm. but they never stopped that's good. and they never gave up. That's good. And I think that's, that's the most important. That's good. That's so good. So um, the clothing line. Yes. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that a little bit. So tell us what the 4G, right? So the clothing line, so I, I have a different site. It's inspired by prettygirls.com. Okay. Um, so the clothing line, um, it has in, inspired by Pretty Girls merchandise. Um, but more importantly, um, it is a website that has positive uh, affirmations, positive t-shirts. Um, I have a t-shirt that says Empower Women. Mm -hmm. And on the back it says, Hey, beautiful person behind me. The person in front of you thinks you're awesome. That's Girl, good. I like that shirt. So yeah. that's that's one of the shirts that I have. Yeah. Um, another one is I'm stronger today than I was yesterday. That's, that's it. That's it. Um, so we have all of these, and my daughter helped me come up with these. The 4G that I showed you. Yeah. God, goals, grind, and gratitude um, was kind of the premises um, because without God, none of it is possible. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you you got to have the foundation have mm -hmm. to have goals but you also have to grind mm -hmm. you can't have the idea Faith and just have work. the idea faith without works is 